Hello everyone. Welcome to another Monday movie. I'm Mr. Blue Summers. So for the past few weeks I've been talking about creating some of these Monday movies specifically geared toward the V-Ray renderer for 3D Studio Max. I finally had enough opportunity to play around with it that I'd like to show you a few interesting things about the renderer. The first thing that I noticed is that it's very easy to get some pretty good looking effects. So today we're going to take a look at how you can illuminate the interior of a warehouse using the V-Ray Sun light object. Let's get started. I have here a simple warehouse scene and what we're going to use is this V-Ray Sun light object. Create panel, lights, V-Ray. So when we create the V-Ray Sun in the perspective viewport we're just going to pick a nice glancing angle it's going to bring that light in. Yes, we want the V-Ray sky environment. We're just going to pick a light angle. It's going to shine right through those windows right up along the top. And I'm going to switch back to the camera view. And I'm going to open up my render settings panel. Now I need to select the V-Ray renderer. So under common, assign renderer, click on the ellipses and select the V-Ray demo. Click OK. You'll notice that it changes all of these tabs. Now in later Monday movies we're going to take a look at some of the other effects in here like say camera settings where we can apply a depth of field. But for today we're just going to look at an introduction to the indirect illumination settings and the sun settings. Now if I take a render right now we're not going to see any indirect illumination. Let me show you. So as you can see we're getting some sunlight coming through the windows but what we really need to bounce that around is the indirect illumination. All we have to do is turn it on. Now I'm going to turn down the preset from high quality to medium quality just to keep things snappy. Let's take another render and see what we get. So this render took about 10 minutes which is a little bit longer than I would have expected for this particular level of quality. But I'm really surprised at how easy it is to set up this kind of render in 3D Studio Max using the V-Ray renderer. Stay tuned next week, we'll be taking a look at how you can use V-Ray area lights in order to illuminate this scene at night. Thanks for tuning in to another Monday movie. You can find all of my Monday movies as well as tutorials, resources, and downloads on my website www.mrbluesummers.com.